Well, happy Friday, everybody. We've come to the end of another week, and I am looking forward to being in God's house Sunday. I hope you are as well. Invite people to come with you. Uh, Today in our Bible reading plan, we are in 1 Kings chapter 10. Uh, This is a story of uh, the queen of Sheba paying a visit to Solomon. She'd heard about how wise he was and how much God had blessed him, so she wanted to check it out. She didn't think anybody could really be that smart. And she travels from her kingdom, which is in southwestern Arabia, with a caravan and, you know, gold and spices, a lot of wealth, and tests Solomon with all kinds of questions, and he passes the test, and uh, uh, and she she uh, st- bestows on him uh, spices and wealth and so on, and and then the rest of the chapter just talks about how rich he was, much gold he had, silver God blessed them with, um, chariots and horsemen, and and um, I mean, can I be honest? When I read this chapter, absolutely nothing spoke to my heart. <laughs> it just didn't. Interesting story. Wow, Queen of Sheba. He's smart. He's rich. I'm glad it's in the Bible. I learned something. Nothing spoke to my heart. And why am I sharing that with you? Two reasons. One, it's the truth. Secondly, there are going to be times you read a chapter or a passage in the Bible and for whatever reason, that day it doesn't resonate. God just doesn't speak to you. Um, uh, you know, nothing just jumps out and grabs you and says, wow, okay? Um, and that's okay. I, I relate it to, to eating. Sometimes, you know, um, uh, it's a great meal. I, you know, I marinate a steak, put it on the grill and go, wow. I smoke a chicken or some ribs in my pit barrel. Oh, man, that's good. And then there are other days I'm hungry, but there's really nothing I want to eat. I'm craving. I uh, don't even really have anything good at the house. You eat and you say, man, eh, eh, it was okay. You know, filled you up. Well, sometimes, you know, God's word's like that. Some days you eat it and it's a, it's a steak, it's a smoked chicken. Other days, man, eh, it's a tuna sandwich. I had to eat something. It's not that it's bad. You need the nourishment and it gives you nourishment. I guess I'm saying to you, don't beat yourself up if sometimes you read the Bible and it doesn't just blow you away. That's normal. Now, one thing I will say, one lesson from chapter 10 and his wealth, money's not a sin. Having money is not a sin. Loving money is a sin. Serving money is a sin. Chasing money more than you chase God, that's a sin. And letting money tempt you away, distract you away from God, from serving God, from obeying God, that's a sin. And if you love money so much that you won't tithe, that's a sin. Hey, that's the word for today. I'll see you Monday with another devotion. And I bet you that day God said something really big to my heart. But I'll see you Sunday as well. God bless you, everybody.